This is part 87 of WCF video series. In this video, we'll discuss the advantages and disadvantages of multi-threading. This is continuation to part 86, so please watch part 86 before proceeding. Advantages of multi-threading to maintain a responsive user interface. For example, let's say in our application we have got a function that takes a long time to complete. In that case, we can fire off another thread and make that thread responsible for executing the time-consuming function so that the main thread, that is the user interface thread, is free to maintain a responsive user interface. We discussed doing exactly the same thing in the previous session of our video series. We can also use multi-threading to make efficient use of processor time while waiting for I.O. operations to complete and to split large CPU bound tasks to be processed simultaneously on a machine that has multiple processors or multiple cores. Since a machine that has multiple processors or multiple cores is capable of executing multiple threads simultaneously, multi-threaded applications can significantly improve the performance. There are also disadvantages of multi-threading. On a single processor or single core machine, threading can affect performance negatively as there is overhead involved with something called context switching. Now let's try and understand what we mean by context switching. For example, let's say we have a task and that task takes 10 seconds to complete. Now in a single threaded application, you know, the processor, let's say it, it allocates all of its time to that single thread. So in 10 seconds, that task is completed. Now let's say instead of, you know, the single threaded application, we are creating a multi-threaded application and let's say we are creating five threads to complete that task. So what happens at this time, the processor has to allocate uh, its time equally among all those five threads. So let's say for example the processor allocates two seconds you know initially for the first thread and then after the two seconds has elapsed you know the processor has to switch from the first thread to the second thread. So that's called context switching and there is little time involved in switching between threads. So the total time to actually complete the task is 10 seconds and there's little time involved you know switching between the threads okay so that adds up to the total time to complete the task so on a single processor or single core machine threading can actually take longer time to accomplish the same task now obviously we have to write more lines of code to accomplish the same task with multi-threading and multi-threading applications in general are difficult to write, they're difficult to understand, debug and maintain. That's why use multi-threading only when the advantages of doing so outweigh the disadvantages. That's it for today. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.